MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and the Kansas City Royals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with a bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2019 Kansas City Royals. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, a lot of this offense runs through the moose, Mike Moustakis. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. And look there at the starting pitcher charged with facing these guys as his numbers are on your screen. Leading off tonight for the Yankees. And, and the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Strike two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Another 0 2 coming. Swing and a little blooper to center. Harrison ranging into the outfield. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Batting second here tonight. Get ahead right now. Fielder, Cesar Santana. Standing in now, Cesar Santana, as he will take strike one on the yeah, fastball here. here. No balls one. and a strike. Good night for baseball all in all. Game time temperature, 63 degrees. Here's the 0 1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Caesar Santana is the second out of the opening frame. Throw on the first gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Yankees nothing Royals coming up you're watching MLB Network 
The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Greg Bird. Hey, here we go. No outs now. Hey, plays that one now. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Everybody knows he's got that fastball up in the hundreds. Man, you just got to get yourself ready to let it fly. Get your hands through the zone as quick as you can. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Batting fifth. Hey, we got one here. Baseman. The third baseman, Mike, Mike Mustakis, Mustakis, now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Here's big Aaron Judd. Yes, he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Well, Matt, as advertised, he's broke out with a good fastball. He likes to pitch off the fastball, but this was in the mid-90s. We'll see him be aggressive most of this game with that fastball. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. So striding forward now, Wilmer Flores. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone. And the Yanks digging in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Now a foul tip straight into the catcher's glove, and he's able to hang on to record the first out of the inning. Batting ninth. the designated hitter. D.D. Gregorius is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. One out, nobody on. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Get ahead, stay ahead. Here's the Starlin Castro 14. as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. The 0-1. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Now a swing and a fly ball. So there on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in to try it again. Caesar Santana. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hey, get ahead right now. Two down, two down. First pitch of the at bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Back up the middle. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. That ball's right in his wheelhouse. You may as well take out a tee, set the ball right there, and say, hit it as hard as you can, because that's what he did. Now 
Into the box now. Gary Sanchez. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And this one's in the dirt. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. This is when he's at his best. Two runners to score. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Riding in once again, Greg Bird. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. 0-1 pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. 0-2. Well, the first two pitches are interesting. Both away from the left-hander. Will he bust him back in and challenge him? It's going to be a good at-bat to watch. To two balls and two strikes now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Moustakas. High pop-up. Up, up, up. Dozier is there for it. Me, me, I got it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So digging in now, Aaron Judge. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Here's a drive out toward left center field. Around first, he's digging for second. Hey, no runner, easy, easy. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Now a drive out to left center field. Judge rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run is in to score from second. It's now a three to one ball game. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Well, he was almost out of the inning. Then the last two batters showed him that you can't lose focus on the mound, even if you get two quick outs. Back-to-back -back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Forced to seven. Here's Didi right Gregorius. Now, right He'll start Getting things out game. as we begin the fifth. Sends that one out of play for strike Gregorius. one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. they got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. The 0-2 once more. That misses one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. The stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. Now another one two. Again he sends it out of play. That was the fifth foul ball in this at bat. He's seen a lot of pitches. Another one sent foul. Well that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. He spoils another one and will do it again. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Starlin well, Castro. 0 for 2 hey, on his line good. thus far. And he lays off a Castro. pitch in there for the hey, first strike. One. And this will be fouled away. And another foul ball. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Here's another 0-2. 
can't get him to chase. It's one and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think to say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does. So quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Ball two. Two and two count. Here it comes. The short hit hard. Escobar has it. In time to first, and there are two away. Ready once again. Caesar Santana. One for two on his line so far in the game. Santana. In there for strike one. 0 and one. The wind up and the 0 one. A breaking ball taken on the inner corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Score holds, it's three to one. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2-0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. And now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both the southpaw and a right-hander get loose. Greg Bird is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. He takes the turn and heads for second. No runner, no runner. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing. But, hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Mike Moustakis comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Now, that was a good pitch to hit in a good location, but most of the time, you're not looking to hit a slider. Maybe that's why he couldn't pull the trigger right there. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. Both teams with six hits so far. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kane is under it. Two down. Here's big Aaron Judge. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Hey, now we've got two. Hey. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Ready with the 0-1. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no air. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Wilmer Flores. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Strike two on the curveball. 0 and 2. 
I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. In now, Aaron Hicks. How about him? That's batting left-handed here as Aaron. he takes a look at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey, plays it one now. Hey, one down now, one down. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Good waste pitch, one and two. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing, three to one our score. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Action in that KC pen now as a right hander's begun to loosen up. Didi Gregorius is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Swing and a ball lifted oh, in the air toward it. the line and right. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Like Worth a done. second look it's here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More baseball. Carter Caps has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Kansas City Royals jump out to a 1-0 series lead. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up.